In this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to import a project that was generated with Spring Initializer Tool into Spring Tool Suite development environment. You can find Spring Tool Suite at spring.io forward slash tools, and it is Spring Tools for different development environments, and one of them is Eclipse. Spring Tool Suite is free, you can just download it and use it to work with Spring Boot application. All right, so I will go to my Spring Tool Suite development environment. I have version 4 downloaded and installed on my computer, and I'm going to use it to import the Maven Spring Boot project that was generated with Spring Initializer tool. Now, when you generate and download project from Spring Initializer tool, it will most likely be zipped into a single zip archive. So if I go to my downloads folder, here I have demo project that was generated and downloaded from Spring Initializer tool and it is zipped into a single archive. So before importing this project into my development environment, I'll need to unzip it first. So I will double click on it to unzip and now I'm good to import this project. All right, so I will go back to my Spring Tool Suite development environment and to import Maven project into Spring Tool Suite, I'll need to go to File and then click on Import. And then from this drop down list, I will need to select Maven. And under Maven, I will need to look for existing Maven projects. All right. So I will click on Next. And then I will need to click on this Browse button to look for that project on my computer. So I will click on the Browse folder. And then I will go to Downloads folder. And here's my demo project. I will simply select it and then click on Open button. And I should see its POM XML file here. All right, so now I'm ready to import it and click on Finish button. And here's my Maven project imported. I should be able now run it using my Sprint Tool Suite development environment, and it should work just fine. So to run it, I will select the project, do right mouse click, and then choose Run as Spring Boot App. And now below here, I will see a console. That will show me the progress of the project startup. And now I see that the project has started and it is working. 